<laughs> yeah, any, yeah, but I'm not gonna go, okay, now I'm live. Don't be careful what you say now. Cause you know people be talking shit, rayándome las paderes. Uh, real quick, I wanna give a shout out. You know, yeah, you know what? Let me do my shout outs first. But the topic for today is, or the topic, uh, how is the topic in Spanish? Tema. La tema de hoy, the topic today is like mujeres o los hombres que son solteros, que ya se fallecieron sus esposos o la esposa. The topic today is about people that are become widows where the wife dies or the husband dies. Uh, PJ, shout out to PJ, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, <coughs> ooh. <coughs> oh shit, God, <clears throat> stuck my throat. No, anyway, don't scare me. Anyways, so uh, shout out to PJ, he's cool. I haven't really seen you, hopefully I see you pretty soon. But anyways, let me get down to the nitty gritty, okay? Let me get down to the nitty gritty about my topic. So, sometimes you have a husband or a wife, you've been married like for, you know, like, oh, 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 real quick, let me give a shout out real quick. Un saludo. PJ, it's just a joke. Go along with it. He's all, he goes, I do? <laughs> and it's so funny because I'm always putting people out on blast, but they're supposed to go along with it. They're like, what the fuck? No, I don't know what he's talking about. Anyways, no, I'm just a joke, PJ. <clears throat> so shout out to PJ. Un saludos a PJ, que uh, eres buena gente. Un saludos a mi prima Jessica, eres buena gente. Shout out to my cousin Jessica. She's cool. Uh, she, she, she's all, hey, my cousin Jessica just got married. Hopefully she gets pregnant. You know what I mean? I think she is. I'm not sure. Uh, but she likes that white pink meat. Le encanta la carne ro rosita. She loves that white pink meat. Shout out to, how do you pronounce his name real quick? Aldebaldo? Yeah, Aldebaldo Martinez. Ede there he goes. Edebaldo. Choking again. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I don't know. I'm a bad speller. Okay. So anyways, uh, I know, just playing along. Okay, anyways. So whenever you get a wife or a husband, and after they fucked you already for like 25, 30, 40, 50 years, you know, they've stuck it in you, in the front, the rear, in the mouth, the ear, whatever, you swallowed, whatever. And they pass away, and you're still young? Fuck it. Why are you gonna be, you know what I mean? Why are you gonna be single? Cry, bucket of, oh, he left me, ya se fue, oh, que se fue. Agarrate una riata nueva. Get a new dick. Am I right or wrong? Get a new pussy. Oh, also real quick before I forget, because I made a promise to one of my tias, my aunt. Un saludo, a shout out to Tia Lupe. Mi tia Lupe, eres mi numero una. Eres una culebra, pero eres mi tia numero una todavía. Uh, so un saludo a mi tia, uh, que mi tío te lo da hasta el tronco. Y solamente estoy jugando, que no se enojan, no se ponen bien encabronados y todo, la verga. Solamente estoy jugando. Pero uh, cumplo ella años hoy. Gracias a Dios. Today was her birthday. She turned 71, so I'm happy about that. My tía Lupe, la culebra. Hasta sabes qué, Lupe. Tengo tu regalo. I got, I got your present. Jabón de cascabel. So, yeah, mira. Jabón de, look, it's, it's a, a rattlesnake. Uh, so, apparently it's supposed to be really good. So it's right here. I should just give this to Tony. Tony anda como una culebra. Yeah, yeah, I said it. I said it. <laughs> and, oh, 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 and then look, we got these new shirts now for Taqueria El Mexicano, these gray ones. That's Francisco. He's got the black one. But I get the gray one. Why? Because management slash owner slash founder gets the gray, the gray one, the special one. Anyways, ay, como chingan a la verga. Here, Francisco, you get that. I'm busy. Go ahead and use the computer, it's fine. So anyways, real quick, so shout out to Aldabado, eres you. buena gente. Shout out to Marcel, he's cool, I like Marcel. He's always commenting, okay. Marcel. Finally get to meet Francisco. Comida. Francisco! la verga. He wanted to say hi to you, Marcel. Oh, hi. Okay, how can I get one? Okay, how can you get one? Well, okay, in, in, anyways, let me go back to my thing. So, hold on. What happened? Oh, the customer? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you done? Okay. It, anyways, fuck all that. So let's go back to what I was saying before I ended up losing my mind and forgetting what I was talking about. Oh, look, I love my hair. See, look at this. Ay, como me encanta. Te digo, los melgosas, ya, ya se le va el pelo, pero gracias a Dios que todavía tengo mi pelo. Good thing I still got my hair and all that. Anyways, shout out to Andrea. 
Uh, oh, Francisco. Marcel said hi. Oh, thank you. Okay, anyways, so get yourself some new dick, you know what I mean? And a lot of these Latin girls are all with these Mexican guys. Try the black meat. Try the pink white meat. You might like it. Am I right or wrong? Sure. They might like that pink white meat. It might be longer and thicker. A la mejor te lo da el tronco. You know what I mean? They might want to butt fuck you. Who, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? This is from yesterday, so do we wait it out? Yeah, but I'll, I'll take care of it. Anyways, so find yourself some new dick. Swallow every now and then. You know, because, you know, like I always said, you only live one time. And when you get married, you know, and your husband dies that you were with, you know, you're sitting there crying your eyes out and how he's gone. Okay, that's fine. But life goes on. And you deserve to be happy. You deserve to find yourself a new man. Get somebody with dreadlocks or, you know, get somebody that's different. Try something different. Fuck it. Try something different and swallow. Try anal. You might like it. You know what I mean? And especially when you're already old and you ain't got your tubes tied and all that shit. Tony, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you ain't got your tubes tied and stuff like that. You might get pregnant again. And you don't want to get pregnant at fucking 50 or 60 because that'll be all, all bad. But anyways, like I said, and same thing with the dudes. You know, when you get yourself a new woman because your wife just died, there's nothing wrong with getting married. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with getting married. Again, with a new piece of pussy, you know, uh, 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 give it to her good and hard. Fuck it. Just do something different. But anyways, what? So I, anyways, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Take, take his order, it's fine. He's, he's cool, though. Uh, anyways, make sure you repeat his his order. Taquería oh, Mexicana, how can I help you? Anyways, I gotta go. Que coman verga. Okay. Uh, what uh, can I get you started? I, I love, I just love a filthy mouth. I just turned me on. Well, Danny, I hope it turned so, you on. Three, I'm glad you like it. So, three but, but, tacos you know, with everything? It's the truth, though. You know, like I said. So, in and closing. And then you gotta get chips. Yes. All I'm gonna tell you guys is fuck, right, fuck, so just fuck. make sure that we got you, three yeah. tacos asadas. Come here. See, look, come here. This okay. is Mimi. And who's the name? Yes, say the movie already. She Eric? is dating okay. my brother. Um, and she rides him all oh, the way. Right, right, yeah, right. she rides him all the way to the East Coast and back. Okay. Like we'll that. see you soon. Right? You know Hello? what I mean? You satisfied we'll my brother, right? Swallow. Your total comes out to 890. Swallow. See? She even agreed, right? Bye-bye. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now, my mom, she told me. Oh, if I hear you talk like that, I'm going to slap you and I don't know what else. And she wants to What do you want me oh. to talk like, a Christian? You want me to go pull out the Bible and start reading scriptures? Why? We already know that we, we know, hey, we know Jesus or God's coming. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying anything wrong. I'm saying the truth. So shout out to my mom. I know sometimes you don't like what I got to say. But you know what? Unfollow me. Unfriend me. Simple as that. You know what I mean? I'm not changing. I'm not going to change. So shout out to my mom. Oh, uh, maybe next week or in a month, I'm gonna go shopping for a Cadillac Escalade and I wanna get the Platinum or the Sport Edition and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and uh, you tell me what color you like. I'm thinking either black, white, or silver. But I've already had a lot of black cars and the only thing I don't like about the black cars is that they get all fucking dirty and the squirrel marks start showing up. So I might just get another silver one or a white one but I want to give me the 2021 Cadillac Escalade Platinum or the Sport Edition. Fuck it. Like I always say, life's too short. Have fun. Buy what you want. Get what you can afford, though, right? Don't go fucking go. Don't go do what a lot of young people do. They go buy these BMWs or these Jaguars or Mercedes, but they fucking still live at home with mommy and daddy. Am I right or wrong? You know what? Fuck it. That's another video that I'm going to do. So we're going to end this video now. I'm going to go back live again and talk shit about people that drive expensive cars, but they still live at home with mommy and daddy. That's the only reason why they could export those cars. But when it breaks, it breaks and it could get fucking expensive. When the, Remember that black, the black Mercedes? The fucking interlock key broke? $2,000 to fucking fix. I said, I'll never buy a Mercedes again. It's not because I don't got the money. Is for what? Why? In Spanish, they say el que seña no tiene. The ones that show it don't got it. Anyways, I gotta go. I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna go live again right now. So stay tuned for the next one about stupid people that buy expensive ass flashy cars that still live at home with mommy and daddy. Anyways, gotta go. Fuck a lot. Y que coman verga.